Hi all and welcome back to my channel, that's me again, your great NSC in the place to be. Yeah, today I got here a great PCI Express ZATA card. This card is really a great card. I have tested already on a few systems. Today I just want to test it also with you together. And I just want, of course, to tell you uh, again a lot of input. I just want to show you a lot of things that is important for you guys. And uh, for some people that has problems with these cards, I'm going to show you how you can resolve some problems. This card is a really great card. It was not expensive. This uh, was just for about 20 bucks. So uh, the money it's really worth. You will not uh, waste your money with this card. You will always maybe need it somewhere. So this card has a marble chip. Um, you can here set also some rate configurations. And you will be able to have, we can say, about six uh, more SSDs or HDDs in your system. So if you have here a computer, uh, if you have maybe an old computer with just two SATA connectors with this PCI Express card, you will be able to have more um, SATA um, SSDs or we can say HDDs. Um, for now, I just need to say sorry because I'm a little bit sick. My English is not the best and when I'm sick, my Engl English gets terrible <laughs> more as before. <clears throat> yeah, you can hear that I'm really a bit, little bit sick, but I don't care because I just need to show you this great thing. So the other thing is also that this card here works mostly on, uh, we can say, works better on PCI Express 3.0. And of course, this card works better when it runs on a 16 lane PCI Express. Okay, so here um, this card can run up to on 60 lanes on your PCI Express connector on the motherboard. Uh, the other thing now, I just want to show you a very old one. And uh, with this motherboard here, this was once of the first PCI Express connectors. So here we are on a PCI Express version 1.0. So this one's here, they are not so fast. And sometimes it can be that your, the, the, we can say the original SATA connector here inside, it can be that they run a little bit faster. Okay. So that's why uh, you don't need to think about that you will have a real uh, high speed monster with this card because this is just a card that can run up to maximum 500 megabytes read and write speed. Okay, so here, this ones I have already tested, they bring on the maximum, I think 250. Okay, um, I just want to tell you this because you guys really just don't believe that you can have a lot more speed with these cards. It conforms also always on your connectors here on the motherboard. So if this ones here, if they are working slow, you will not have that much speed because this here are just, we can say, breaking the speed. Okay, this uh, connectors here, the, the, I don't know what's called in English, the, the boost data speed here is not that high as the card can work. So that's why you need to take care, guys. So, but for now, I'm going to show you how you can set it up. So um, the most important thing is, of course, when you have one like this here inside, you will maybe not have a space for your graphics card. So that means when you want to now put a graphics card like this one, <laughs> this is a big graphics card, you will not have any space to connect, we can say, the PCI SATA card, okay? Because when you put it here inside now, under there, you have no more space. The other thing that you could do is you can, let me just put this graphics card away. Um, you can take a way smaller graphics card like this one here. And then you will have, we can say space under there because you can connect it here. But also there, it will be difficult for you guys because it conforms where the cooler is sitting. So I'm gonna just connect it here inside. And then uh, let's see. I'm going to just go down here with the camera. Just wait a second, guys. So here. <coughs> so here we go. Uh, yeah, this will be very, very hard. <laughs> you can see it right now. Um, 
the space there is not the best. So let me just focus here again. Here we go, but the focus now is just, yeah, maybe too way, too far away. So whatever, I'm gonna just take the camera out and then I'm gonna show you this um, from down better. Wait, so here we go. Let's just take it out here. So now you will be able to see it better. Okay guys, um, I'm gonna just try to get this card inside there right now just to see if we will have the space between this card and the graphics card. So here you can see it's already touching the cooler. So um, <laughs> yeah, this can be really bad for you guys. So see, it's working, but you should take care that this contact doesn't touch the cooler otherwise you could have a short circuit on your system. But if you just want to work with your computer, you will not need any graphics cards. So that's why you maybe could use the graphics card on board. And um, here, like you can see, we are now on VGA because this motherboard, yeah, just doesn't have HDMI support. <laughs> this is really an old motherboard, but it's great to test this on old motherboards because the people that are buying this, they buy that because they have an old computer. So uh, the guys with a newer computer, they don't need to buy stuff like this because the SATA controllers here on inside the motherboard, they are already a lot faster as this SATA card sometimes. Um, on the next video, I'm going to show you also another SATA PCI Express card, but this one here is now also just great because you guys need to see what you can do with it. Um, for now, I'm gonna just take it out because you also need to know if you have two uh, uh, cards connected on your PCI Express, so the lanes will go down. So let's say you got here up to 16 lanes. When you connect one more, uh, you will just have maybe up to eight lanes or four lanes, okay? So that's why you, you need to take care um, the speed is not always the same when you connect more cards. Let's say you got a very good motherboard like, like the Asus um, Rampage Xtreme 3 or 4. Um, you will have a lot of more PCI Express connectors and there you can of course have let's say two cards running on two times 16 lanes. Okay, but now for now I'm gonna now just put this card here on the first PCI Express. And then we're gonna just get into the BIOS <coughs> because um, the great thing, the very great thing on this card is also that you can also boot your Windows with this card. That's really great. Not all cards has this feature, but with this card you can also directly boot over this card over your SSD or HDD. So now let's just connect this here back again. And then I'm gonna keep recording it, guys. So for now, let's just fix the card, just with a small screw, uh, screw to be safe. So here we are, and let's just fix it. Yeah, the great thing. Before I forget, let's just take it out quickly again. Oh, come on! Here you also get six LEDs, which shows you which. Um, yeah, cable or SSD or HDD is connected, okay? Here, SATA 1, SATA 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Uh, the first one is, I think, on this side. Let me see. Yeah, here. Okay, you can see that. Here is the SATA 1. Uh, yeah, I just wanted also to open this cooler. Uh, let me see that we can see the chips inside. So, let's just quickly get out. I'm also surprised and I'm curious to see if we got here just thermal paste or a thermal pad or whatever. <coughs> Sorry guys. Come on. So, right. ah, we got here a thermal pad. And like I told, we got here a marble chip. So...
here we go this is the marble chip that I was talking about so yeah it looks great the quality is great guys and uh, yeah it's it's really great made it's no cheap shit you can say so here this has just cost about 20 euros I have just um, got me directly from China I could have buy this also in Germany but in Germany this card was costing me about 40 euros and I thought this is just too much so that's why I have just um, yeah got it from we can say China and I paid 90.99 so I think this is the money worth so now let's get it back again focus once again and here we go I'm gonna show you now just how to set this up I'm gonna show you how to set this in BIOS I'm gonna show you how you can set it to create we can say a RAID system and um, here we go and maybe some more things yeah I'm gonna test with you also the speed which is very important um, I got here two SSDs I got here one from my notebook this is a Evo um, 840 Pro I think and then I got here one more which has just arrived today and this is just the Samsung Evo 840 standard okay here we go with 120 gigabytes and up there this one here is from my notebook and this is the Evo 840 Pro okay so here this one here has 128 gigabytes and this one here has 120 gigabytes because this is the standard edition so um, whatever now I'm gonna just yeah let's say disable the lights I don't know if it's possible but um, if not it's not problem I'm gonna just show you it right there so let's start the computer here we go and then um, yeah I think I will begin with the standard um, um, SATA connector on the on the motherboard because I bet this could be a bit faster as this one because here we are really on PCI Express on the very first versions this is PCI Express the very first PCI Express uh, that has came out long time ago here's PCI Express version 1.0 uh, it's one of the oldest PCI Express you can have right now I think PCI Express 4.0 is the newest which has a lot more speed of course <laughs> so here let's just start it just make the monitor on and now let's see so maybe I'm gonna make off the lights here let's get into the BIOS or BIOS so let's move the camera here a bit more to the left side I hope you will be able to see that all here we go I have saw that message already that the card was connected so um, I need to see or I need to check how I will do that because here the lights are reflecting right now but we will need the lights so that's why I will just let it on um, if I see this will disturb I'm gonna just move the camera guys okay so no panic on Titanic we got water for all <laughs> so um, now let's go to advanced settings so I, I work always too fast maybe for you guys okay go here advanced BIOS features and let's see what it gets for us so here um, we go to boot sequence and let's go here we can see we got already um, the HDD which is already connected from the computer so here it is and now we can see our PCI Express card which is here it's configured as EDA or IDE this is the uh, PCS, uh, PCI Express gra um, 
Salta cart. Oh, sorry guys. Um, if you select this one, you will be later able to set your weight configuration. And that's why it's written here configuration. So when you set it, that he should boot with this. So after that booting, you're gonna have the option to set to set a rate system, but you need of course to connect two SATA cables and two same we can say SATA SSDs or we can say HDDs. Yeah, it conforms up to you guys what you will use. If you go for HDD or SSD, this is just up to you guys. But I'm just telling you how to set this. That means you will need to go into the BIOS. If you want to set a RAID system, you will need to choose this configuration, okay? Otherwise, you just let it um, on standard, just on your normal SSD or HDD. So here we go. And uh, for now, we're gonna just boot up. And um, yeah, I will let like this. I'm gonna just shut down the computer and then I'm gonna now just put an SSD inside just to test the speeds. Here, I'm gonna just, uh, wait guys, so let me move the camera here. Here we go. Let's connect the SSD that just arrived today. All use it, I buy this stuff, use it. I don't need that stuff all new. Sometimes it's great when you buy something, use it, because you know when the used part has long, has hold so long time, then you can also be sure that it's a great hardware. <laughs> so let's start again. This system is not the fastest because we are here over, we can say an HDD. We are here on Windows 7. 64 bits with 8 gigabytes of RAM and uh, for all the system this is a great thing and uh, yeah I think here's nothing more to say the rest is uh, just standard guys so here let's now just check and see what I can do for you guys so um, yeah it's of course again a great informative video. I'm going to show you really a great stuff that you guys maybe doesn't know before. But yeah, I'm going to just show you how to set this really great up. Um, if you just want to use your SSD or HDD over this PCI Express card, um, <clears throat> you can have here really a great system. The great thing is really like I told you, you can just boot over this SATA card. And that's really a great thing, guys. Not all uh, SATA cards, not all PCI Express SATA cards support this feature. So the SSD now is just installed by the system. Great thing. And now let's just start a small SSD benchmark. <coughs> So here we go now. Let's. Uh, I don't. I don't need the rest. I just want to see a quick write read speed. Uh, wait. No. 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 Okay. I don't know why it's not displayed here right now. A touchy device. Yeah. Should be written. Also, um, that the Samsung here is inside, but it's not. Let me just check again once. No, it's not. So I need to configure it. Configure it, I think. This is now all just in German, but you guys, it's, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's in German or not. I just need to go here now to my HDDs. I need to set up the SSD now, right now, because this is very new and I will just need to activate it. So here let's go. Let's find out what's going on here. Um, yes, like I told, I need just to set it up. So 
Yeah, this is uh, yeah nothing important. This doesn't need to be in English all right now. Uh, in English because um, uh, let's see what's going on here. So this now should be great. And this one here is, we can say, from the PCI Express SATA card. So don't get confused here. All right, now this should work. And uh, let's see if it's displayed already. No, we need to restart this tool. And now you should be able to see that. So here. Yes, here it is. SATA SSD. Let's just check the write and read speed. So it's writing with about 120 megabytes per second. And um, it's reading with about 260 megabytes per second. So this is just a connector over, we can say, the motherboard itself. Okay, we can do again a small test. <clears throat> here we go again. 130 megabytes per second we got here on, we can say, write speed. And we got here about 260, well, let's see. Let's see, let's see, 264 on, we can say, uh, yeah, read speed. Okay, um, yeah, let's run once again, and then I'm going to make a pick. So, uh, yes, and then we will, we can say, um, yeah. So here, sorry guys, I need really just to set all because it's just getting complicated for me. So here now I'm going to do a pick so we later can just see the differences. Sniping tool or whatever it calls and a new pick. So here, let's just go over here and this is just enough for me. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to just write here uh, SATA on board. I think it's okay like that. For me it's uh, yeah, just okay. Okay, now I'm going to just reset the computer and um, we're going <coughs> to set yeah, we're gonna just configure it, or let's say we're gonna put the SATA cable from this SSD to our PCI Express card. So here, let's see which direction I think. Uh, nope, then it must be the other side. Here we go. Yes. All right. Um, if you do this just like I do here, take care that your SATA uh, or your HDD is not touching uh, the, we can say, memories, the RAMs uh, or whatever, because you could have here a short circuit, guys. So that's why please take care. Always take care what you are doing. And um, yeah, always work with a lot of patience and uh, just work clean. So now let's just start it again. You can see now there's a blue light <laughs> that means it's working already and uh, wait so you can see that right now 
I think this is uh, S. Yeah, this is the LED for the second one. So, but this doesn't matter if it's the first SATA connector or the second one. This doesn't matter, guys. But we can see this is now. Yeah, it's working. I can see that already. It's great to see that this is really working. <clears throat> so the system is <coughs> just starting. Oh shit! Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm really sick a bit. Um, but so I saw. I'm always sick all the time because I'm a crazy guy. So here, let's zoom back. Okay, so the system just put it up. And now here you have also again a message that it was installed. And we're gonna just now test this, how this is working over the SATA card. So here we go. Let's zoom a bit in again for you guys can see better. So without reflecting lights. <laughs> and now we're gonna set here again the Samsung SSD. Gonna disable this stuff here because I just need a quick test. And let's check this out. So here write speed is I think nearly the same and read speed is not that high so that means the read speed is over the original SATA controllers faster as over the PCI Express card but it's like I told you guys this is just a problem because of the old PCI Express connector on your motherboard so Whatever now, um, let's run a second one and then we're gonna do also a picture and then I'm gonna show you a great thing um, that you guys should know. It's a very great system here. It's very old but very cool and very uh, quiet. So. Oh, okay. Just wanted now start this tool. Sorry, guys. Let's just let uh, end up this test. Okay. So here we got again uh, here a picture screenshot. Oh. Uh, here and let's do this here right now come down guys so here we go and i'm gonna save it now as um yeah on the desktop again and here i'm gonna write ssd over pci express card uh, so sorry guys all right and start or save <clears throat> now i'm gonna show you a great thing guys i'm gonna show you how you can get a little bit more speed so but for that we need again to shut down the system i'm gonna restart the system right now and then i'm gonna go with you together in the BIOS again and then I'm going to show you a great option where you can have or we can say yeah get a little bit more speed from the PCI Express connector but if you are running also a graphics card you will need to take care with this option but I'm going to show you this normally um, yeah you should not do that but it's great to know guys it's great to know because a lot of people maybe doesn't know for what this is standing for here you just move on your BIOS to frequency and voltage control get here inside here you will be a, uh, also able to overclock sometimes your CPU and the rest and here you can adjust the PCI Express frequency so now 
Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna test this with you guys together. Um, you can work here always in, let's say, five steps. Let's say 100. We're gonna do now 105, okay? I have already tested this all, and that's why I know the maximum here is 118, okay? If I set here 119 or 120, I begin to have problems with this motherboard. So I'm gonna just show you which problems um, can happen. Strange problems can happen here. Just like uh, we can say buggy stuff, like he will not find your uh, standard HDD or something like that. I'm gonna just set it to 120 because I know that with 120 I'm gonna get here some um, buggy problems with this motherboard. Some other motherboards can have more, um, some other not. So that's why you need just to test this. I was testing this already and I know that I get problems on 120 multiplier on the PCI Express connector. I'm going to show you what problem I get. Uh, it begins here with, we can say, um, the boot sequence. When I just set it at 120, um, he is not displaying me my, uh, <laughs> my we can say, operation system uh, hard disk. So now the HDD here is missing. I cannot find it. I cannot see it. These are just some small problems that can begin uh, yeah, to happen. That's why um, now you should see here my HDD, which is, we can say, the system installed. But just right now it disappears and it's not written there. So it's just something going wrong here. And you should also always keep in mind um, that you save or that you just, yeah, notice the things that you do and that you just change here. Because when you change something and something else is working bad, then you need to notice and to think about what was the last thing that you have set here. Because you will need to go back and to do the standards. So now I'm gonna just do 118 because I know 118 is working already. And let's save right now. Uh, here. And now we're gonna enter again to the BIOS and you will see now that our, um, yeah, we can say SSD or H, HD is now again displayed. What I'm gonna try now later is also to set more speed on the PCI Express and I'm gonna try <laughs> to connect the <coughs> operation system hard disk also on the PCI Express card. <laughs> yeah, this I have not tested, but I'm gonna test it with you together. So let's go again here inside and here boot sequences here we go, and now you can see again we got our HDD, which is, is the Hitachi. Here we got our operation system. That's why I need to light it right now like it is. Otherwise, we will not be able to, we can say, start the system or Windows 7. Here we go again, and let's go. Yeah, guys, a lot of info again for you guys. Sometimes these videos also takes longer because I need always to show you step by step what I'm doing. That's why I cannot do these videos in about one or two minutes, okay? <laughs> Some people also comes here and just talks bullshit because of my language. I know that my English is not the best, but I just I just try to help you guys, okay? And sometimes the language, it doesn't matter as long you can understand what I mean and what I show. So my skills is way uh, uh, more, uh, we can say, important as just my language. You know, because I do also other videos in, we can say, my language, in German or in Portuguese. But uh, I just want to do that stuff in English, so all the world will understand something, of course. And when I do my videos just in German or in Portuguese or whatever, uh, yeah, the rest will not understand what's going on here. So that's why I'm just trying to do this also in English. And I keep trying my best to um, yeah, learn more English. I'm watching a lot of English videos and I learn all the stuff all just by myself, guys. Also, the English language I have learned the most on the internet. 
um, long time ago, the English lessons in the school was not that great. <laughs> you just was able to learn, we can say, the small things. Hello, how are you? What's your name? And that stuff. So, um, <clears throat> again now, we gonna set our Samsung SSD and I'm gonna just disable this once again here and let's start the benchmark. So here you can see now again the write speed. I think this was the same, but aha! Look that the read speed has go up 200 and uh, 225, I think. Yes, that's great, guys. <laughs> what do you think about? I think this is great. Now, let's just uh, zoom back. I'm gonna just open uh, the other picture. Let's see. This is the Zata on board. So that means the, um, the right speed, the right speed was the same on boot. But the on board read speed is still a bit faster as over the PCI Express. Okay, that's great to know. That's great to know. This was now here the onboard SATA connector. It's not bad. I think this was a SATA 2. It's a very old motherboard with SATA 2, not SATA 3. But still great. Okay, now <clears throat> this was the picture, the screenshot from the benchmark on, we can say, the PCI Express card without to overclock the PCI Express controller or connector. Okay, this was 192 with 129 megabytes write speed. Here now, the we can say to compare, here we got more uh, read speed and yeah, we can say the uh, write speed just stays the same. It doesn't matter if it is 129 or 128.4. <laughs> this doesn't matter guys because this is nearly the same. Let me just again zoom a little bit for you guys and you can see the difference. But on our overclocked PCI Express now, we got a lot of more, we can say, read speed. This is really more because we are talking here about 90, uh, 10, uh, uh, about 30 megabytes per second faster. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Why not? It's, yeah. Okay. It's worth, you know. So if you are not using a graphics card here inside, you can do that. But if you are using a graphics card, that can happen that you will have no more display. So that's why without graphics cards uh, you can do that. Okay. So, but now I want to test more because I have just forgot last time to connect ASO. We can say our HDD, which gets not more um, yeah, displayed when I just set here too much overclock on the PCI Express. Uh, this here is just disrepairing. It will not show you anymore on the BIOS. And that's why I'm going to not try just to connect also the HDD on the PCI Express card. Let's see what we're going to, um, yeah, what we're going to do about that. What I will be able to do, let's say like that. And here I'm going to just take again a picture for myself. This is just for me to test. I know that on other motherboards, yeah, on other motherboards, you have a lot more of speed, of course. The maximum that I was testing with this PCI Express card was about uh, 480 read speed, which is really great on PCI Express 3.0 with 60, 16 lanes. So now let's just save this also. And here I'm going to write SSD over PCI Express on, uh, let's say what it was, 180 uh, overclock. Yeah, this is just enough for me. Uh, over PCI, plus, yes, plus 100, 
80, not 1000. <laughs> 180. Ah, okay. Yeah, sure. This was just the oh, 180 yep. overclock. So let's see if this will be able to save. Yes. All right. This is just enough for me. Now, again, yeah, you need to play around here. Let's just um, restart the system again. And let's get in again into the BIOS. <clears throat> and you hope, guys, that you like this video. And you really can see these videos are not able to do in about two or three minutes, guys. No chance. Because the system needs to boot up. I need to talk a bit. I need to tell you some stuff. I need to show you some stuff. Um, oh, sorry, guys. I have just forgot. Let's just turn off again the system. I have just forgot. To connect now our operation HDD, also you can say on the PCI Express card. So let me see how I will do that. Maybe under there. I just want here a clean work. Here we go. It looks good. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we're gonna have now. The chance <laughs> to set more overclock or how it calls in English on the PCI Express. So on the next video I got again so much to show, but I'm not sure if I will do this today because I'm really sick. Uh frequency again and here. Let's overclock it to, let's just test the maximum 133. Okay, you can see here the maximum is 133. And on about 120, we was not able to see the operation system hard disk anymore. I'm gonna not just for the test, I'm gonna just set again 120 to see what will happen. <laughs> just for myself, guys. So I just want to see what will happen now yeah. on the BIOS. Just to see if the hard disks or SSDs will be displayed right now on the boot sequence. Because if you don't see the hard disks, you don't need to boot up something because it will not work. <laughs> <clears throat> so now again, here boot sequence and we got the Samsung and we got the Hitachi. Great NC, great! Yeah, what's <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to try, here we go, I'm going to try directly 133, all right, save, boom, chicka boom, here we go, <laughs> so let's get again into the BIOS, let's see if you see, uh, if you will see, steal the HD or SSD. Uh, complicate for me, all in English. I need always first to translate in my brain what I want to say. <laughs> so, and here we go. Let's see and pray. Yeah, no, oh, yes, it's there. It's there, still there. Great, 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 great. Now I'm surprised if this will boot. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Great, great, great. So maybe now we're gonna have again about 20 or 25 or 30 megabytes per second more read speed. Or maybe not. Maybe this will be completely <laughs> shitty and buggy, but let's say without to test, we will never know it. It's working. I can see that on the light. It's blinking, it's great. System is starting. Yeah, it's blinking. You can see the lights also here on the table. Yeah! <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah, this and more I can always show you guys. That's why I just need always to do this full videos. Otherwise, yeah, it's for nothing when I just show you the PCI Express card and tell you, hey, I have just buy it. Yes, it's good and finish. The video is over. <laughs> Hey guys, it's starting and now it will install us the HDD. Yes. Wow. 
<laughs> I'm happy. Because I'm happy. <laughs> so now we need to restart. Come on, let's restart because it's better. We will restart. Yeah, guys, I'm really happy. So with other motherboards, you maybe can have here uh, a lot more of overclock on the PCI Express controller or we can say connector. And um, maybe you can set here on other motherboards, let's say about 150. Um, yeah more frequency on the PCI connector but I'm not sure because somewhere the system gets really unstable and we just want to keep our system stable and that's why you need to take care what you are playing around here <laughs> but I'm happy right now <clears throat> like I told I have tested this PCI Express card also on my ASUS Rampage 3 Extreme where I have we can say PCI Express 3.0 and the maximum was I think it was about 480 megabytes per second on a Samsung SHD and this is not bad yeah this is great for 20 bucks you know what I mean <laughs> 20 bucks is nothing so here we go <sighs> now the time to check and the time of truth to see what's going on here so for now let's see if I'm gonna just make a small test on the HDD to see if this is really working just stable so now I'm gonna just do a test on the HDD guys okay the HDD not SSD let's just see the speeds what's going on here this is just now on the HDD on the older HDDs so but hey it's okay for HDD 75 megabytes per second on the write speed or 76 megabytes write speed on the HDD an old HDD from Hitachi with 320 gigabytes and um, yeah we can say the read speed is nearly the same it's okay guys it's okay for an HDD it's okay <coughs> here we go yeah nearly the same read and write speed now let's check the Samsung SSD I hope this will not crash <laughs> here we go 135 this year is now a bit faster I think and here 250 to oh wow, yeah that's that's great this is now nearly the same speed as we can say on the zata connector on board yeah guys i'm happy so now you have we can say really the maximum over the pci express here so um ssd over PCI Express with 180 overclock. This was this one here. 225 versus 252, guys. <laughs> yeah, great. <Hey>, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Here you can see the difference now. Okay, and let's just see the picture from the standard. It was like that. This was the benchmark from the SSD over the PCI Express card on we can say standard PCI settings. Okay, you can compare it right now. Here, this was the SSD running over the PCI Express card without overclocking on the BIOS. Okay, this is with overclocking the PCI express connector to I think versus uh, uh, it was multiplayer 133 yes so before I forget I need to save this later for me um, and here this was the Zata on board so here we have just yeah about uh, 10 megabytes more yeah 
plus minus 10 megabytes, you got here more read speed. So the write speed was boot the same. I think there was nothing more to do. But the read speed here is really great right now with an overclocked PCI Express. Really great, guys. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I hope you just like this video, guys. This was, again, a very informative video. Great, NSC, great. I'm happy right now. We was able now to test, we can say, a PCI Express card on a motherboard with overclocking the PCI Express connector and without overclocking and we was able to see what happens with your system when you do here too much overclock that can be that the standard SATA controllers uh, just fail and that can happen that the BIOS is just not showing you the um, HDDs or SSDs that you have here already connected, okay? So that's why you need to take care when you are overclocking uh, s such things, you need to take care because PCI Express frequency, you should not touch it, yeah? If you got here, uh, we can say a graphics card running, um, you should not do that because, but hey, I got a great thing. <laughs> Come on, let's do a last test. Yeah, I need to know that. I need just to know that for myself. <laughs> to see what's going on, what will happen. Yeah, that's a great thing. Stop, the video is not over, guys. Wait, wait, wait. The video is not over because I want to test two more things, guys. The other thing what I want to test is if we will have the same speed as on the other PCI connector, because I got here a PCI connector also. That's, it. that's a smaller one. <clears throat> I'm gonna just put that here, just shut down the PSU to be on the safe side. <clears throat> I'm gonna try now to connect <laughs> a GPU and the PCI Express card. So wait guys, wait, 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 let's go over this one here. I just want to see if this will also bring the same speed, if it has 16 lanes or 8 or whatever, it should bring the same speed but I don't know if the overclocking or we can say the stuff what we have set it on this PCI Express on the BIOS with 133 I don't know if this is also working for this uh, connector so but this is a great test so let's just check it out let's make it on again haha <laughs> yeah 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 great 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 this is the stuff that I love to test I'm always testing, 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 testing. So, uh, you will need to restart because of the BIOS. So, and now, let's get into the BIOS again, into the BIOS. And let's see if all is still great. So, here we go. It was displayed all already. So let's see here the frequency if it's still there. Yes, 133. And let's see here advanced bio settings, the boot sequence. Hitachi is still there. All right, now let's just restart. Oh my god, that's why I love these tests, guys. Testing, testing, testing. And then you're gonna know what is going on. Because it's not always like that, like you can read on the internet. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I'm really happy. With this, you can save your older motherboard if you want to have more speed <laughs> on your HDD or on your system, on your world system. If you install here an SSD, on Windows 10 or Windows 7 yeah this is gonna work again this is gonna work a lot faster and now let's see <clears throat> if the benchmark speed is still the same on this connector yeah I'm really curious normally it should be the same normally but I don't know um, the data of this motherboard I don't know if this 
connector is really fast or not. Maybe this is just working now on one lane or four lanes. I don't know. I just don't have that in my brain. So here it gets again all installed because it has noticed that we have changed the connector. I need to restart it again, guys, because I just want to do that really great, guys, for you. So otherwise, um, yeah. But we are nearly finished. Later I'm gonna install this old school graphics card. <laughs> this is a great old school graphics card. I think the fan here is a little bit noisy, but I don't care, the graphics card is still working. This was really an old one, overclocked by me. It was BIOS flashed. I have also some videos, I think, on my channel uh, where I have shown you how you can take a BIOS backup from your graphics card, how you can modify it and how you can flash it back to your graphics card. But this is, we can say, a lot more complicated <laughs> as this stuff that we are doing here just right now. <clears throat> so, later I need to drink a tea and maybe NC is going doing again a video for you. Hehe. <laughs> so now <clears throat> we are in the system. Let's get directly to the benchmark on the SSD. So here we go. I'm going to zoom in. What do you think? It will be the same or not? I think it could be now a bit slower. But let's see. Oh, come on, what's going on now? Okay, the system now just hangs off. Okay, so here you can see this was too much, guys. Okay, and that's what I was talking about. This was too much. System just freezes, it just shuts down. So that means, um, yeah, this was just too much, guys. Okay. But good to know, that means with 133, this was really too much. Let's get this back to, let's say, I know that 118 is, we can say, safe. And let's test this one. Maybe it will work right now. So that means that this smaller one here um, is not working that fast. Otherwise, this would now just keep working, but like you guys was now able to see, the system just crashes. It just did a restart, that means something went wrong, and that's why you need to take care what you are doing. Here you can see, system has just restart. Let's start it again normally. <coughs> great, great, great. Good to know. Yeah, all input, input, input. It's like the the movie number five. You know the the film, the movie <laughs> number five. The yeah, the roboter that got a short secret. <laughs> Very old film. Number five is alive. <laughs> Great thing. So let's see if this now gonna be better. Working great, I can see that here right now. Great stuff, guys. So, again, let's see if this now is better. I hope yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know that. It was just displaying that the system is crashed and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. I don't care about this stuff about this message. So now, <clears throat> I don't care about this message because I know myself what was going on here. Let's go here now for the Samsung and let's see, it's still working. 127, 26. Yeah, it seems that this is working. Here, 100, uh, 200. 
116, huh? maybe a little bit slower, but let's see. So, here we got 216 and uh, uh, let's see this one here, 190, 216. So that means this was here. Uh, this picture, wait, that you can see guys, so wait, here, here, this picture now, what I have just um, clicked on, was the SSD over PCI Express card without overclocking the PCI Express connector, okay, and here is, we can say, the benchmark right now on the smaller PCI Express slot. Okay, so here it's overclocked on 118. All right, seems to work. I don't need to save this picture for me now because now I'm going to do the last test how this will work, included a small graphics card. <laughs> yeah, let's see that. Here we go. And the last shutdown. So it works. <clears throat> with stable uh, overclocked frequency it's working still better than nothing so now system just shuts down let me just connect now the small grade graphics card so 